This video here is for the Edwards E306. It is a thermal evaporation system. It has two sources in it, two thermal sources. They are a wire basket right now. They can be changed over to boats if you want. Over here, we have is the control panel. On this control panel, you have your four line pressure over here. And you have your penning gauge that reads your chamber pressure. You have your selector switch for your boats, thermal or thermal sources. And down here you have your thermal source controller. Uh, has a low uh, transform, low voltage transformer, and there it doesn't have all the uh, parts for the high voltage transformer in here. Um, basically, you would just turn this on, turn this up, watch the amp gauge. Since I have us on selector two, you'll see. The boat or basket getting bright and it will evaporate anything you put in there right now. Okay, I'm gonna right now change over to the left basket and I'm going as you can see I'm turning it up right here. see the left basket lit up. You also have on the side here, you have an LN2 and you also have a shutter so it doesn't pause it on there. On the front here you have a gas adjustment so you can go ahead and uh, introduce gas into the chamber. Down below this you have how to rough the chamber out and to put it in a high vac. Um, I will show you how to do that in a minute. Let me just go around the rest of the machine and show you everything else. Down below here is you have your power hookup and your water line hookup plus your exhaust for the uh, pump. So you have your input power, your exhaust, and your two water lines in and out. Back of the system, there's nothing on here. On the side, this side here, you have your main vacuum valve here that just turns off, shuts off the vacuum going to the vacuum pump itself. Let me open up the door here. Inside here, you have your air diffu diffusion pump is right here, and you have your mechanical pump here. There is a high voltage transformer in here, but it's not hooked up, and then yet right here is your low voltage transformer. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to uh, cycle the system. So if you want to bring this to atmosphere, your chamber. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this valve. I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise to where it says backing. What that does is it closes the high vac valve. I'll open it up and close it back down again. And then I'm allowed, able to uh, hit the air admit. And what it does is it's, it will automatically shut off your penning valve or your penning gauge because you can, uh, you know, it doesn't want to run on atmosphere. Also on top of this system is an explosion guard. So move the explosion guard. And you can see, I would actually remove the glass I don't have to remove the glass, I'm just trying to cycle it. But as you can see, you, could, you would remove the glass that way. Fill your baskets up, put your sample in, 
and then put the glass back on and then you're going to take your air admit valve shut that off come back over here and then you're going to go again you're going to push it push in and go over to roughing once you open up the roughing you're going to pay attention to this gauge right here and we're going to let this pump down so then we can do a crossover into high vac You start seeing the gauge start coming down now. We're going to wait for the gauge to come down to about this minus one to, to the ten. It's a hundred millitor. So that's 200 millitor, about 175 millitor right now. All right, so we're around 100 millitor right now. So then we're going to come back over here. I'm going to take this, move it over, then pull it out, and then rotate it. What that does is it opens up the valve again, so we're back in the high vac. If you go to this gauge right here, you're going to see that right now we're right now in the four range, or in the five range right now, eight to the five. We're going to change over to the next range. The top range is uh, the range one, and you can see the numbers on the side here that say one, two, three. As you see, I'm like two and a five, so that should put me right around up here, right at two and a five on the second range. You can use LN2 to, to speed up the process, but it's not necessary. The base pressure of this, when I first had it going, if you would have saw it, I had it in the three range and I was somewhere around almost breaking into the seven range.
but you'll you'll see when you get the system it does go into the uh, mi midway on the range on the range three here um, you just got to wait for this to come down it will take probably about a half an hour to get it there so so that is the end of the demo the whole system.